was it to work with John Favreau and J.J. Abrams? Uh, they're awesome. Uh, look, they're just, they're every bit as smart and, and brilliant, as promised as you would think they would be, and unbelievably committed. Uh, and the amount of time uh, that they're able to contribute to the show blows my mind. They're busy, busy men. My, here's my favorite JJ story. I'm on the phone with JJ and we're discussing a piece of casting and we're kind of, you know, debating the pros and cons of the character. And then in the, in the middle of the conversation, JJ stops and he says, Eric, hold on a minute, just one minute. Then there's a pause and then he says, okay, action. Then there's another pause and then he says, all right, cut. And then he says, okay, Eric, so let's keep talking about this casting. And, and I, 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 was, I paused, and I said, are you directing Star Trek right now? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, don't worry, it's just an action scene, it's fine, let's talk. And like, the ability of that dude to multitask blows my mind. And, and John has just been such an incredible partner, and, and so understood the tone and bring such a level of fun to the project and uh, and I just you know we were uh, we were inseparable and um, I'm just I'm thrilled to be working with those guys I'm just a fan you know I'm just a guy who digs Iron Man and, and Star Trek and Super 8 so just to be able to work with those guys it's like I try to put on like this really cool front like oh yeah we're working together and let's pitch ideas but really I just want to take pictures of them <laughs> <laughs> He, he came in, I mean, you know, we, we had the script and then it was, you know, NBC greenlit it um, and as things do in television, everything moves just remarkably quick and, and um, uh, once it was a green light, it was hire a director and so, um, you know, we were very fortunate. Um, you know, frankly, there was an embarrassment of riches of, of, of directors who were interested in taking that job. Um, uh, yeah, right, like I'm going to tell you. Uh, but, uh, and then John came in, and John, you know, really, he sat down, and the first thing he said to me is like, I get what you're doing. He's like, this isn't a post-apocalypse show. This is, this is Star Wars. And that was entirely what my secret plan was, which was to do Star Wars, which was to, an action show, have it be about hope, and, and, and have it be really a Joseph Campbell hero's journey, and, and, and to make it about heroes, and a, and a quest, and good and evil, and he sat down and got that immediately, and he says, he's like, I don't see this as a dark show, I see this as a really fun, hopeful, light show. And, uh, and I said, that's exactly what we have always wanted, and, and obviously his directing is impeccable, and I've never seen a director better with actors than that guy. Not, you know, very understandably, uh, uh, you know, not surprisingly, um, because of his background, but um, he's, he's just a great, great guy. Now, uh, I was going to say, uh, with Star Trek, you had Thank like you. a five-year plan, you had a five-season plan, so you had the same sort of arc in your mind? <clears throat> yeah, it's funny, it's, um, <clears throat> um, you know, five-year plans are all well and good, until you get to uh, the sixth year. <laughs> and, and then you start to realize what an idiot you are. Um, and so <clears throat> there, there's a very, and in, 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 in a lot of ways, some of the ideas of the show were a direct reaction to that. Because <clears throat> I, you know, this one, what I'm excited about is this one's a whole world. And, and there's the Monroe Republic, the country that, you know, the, at least the first season and maybe more yeah. take place in. But that's not to say that's the only country in North America now. And that there's a whole world to explore. And so I was really interested in a show that I knew could provide a limitless amount of storytelling and mythology. Uh, so I, very, I set out very intentionally to not be an idiot. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> I know. That's been pointed out to me, and I, I, funny enough, I didn't make the connection that I, apparently I love the apocalypse. Uh, I wasn't aware of it. You know, this one was in, this one is in so many ways though the anti-apocalypse, and this one is so about, you know, again hope and light and 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 beauty and fun and romance, and and we're actually trying to create a world that. Yes, there's problems, and yes, there's setbacks, and yes, there's danger around every corner, but it's a world that people might want to fantasize about living in, about chucking their blackberries hmm. and, and going off and just being able to live a much simpler life. And, and we, were, we were really interested in telling that idea of the story. Again, for me, the notion was to set out to tell an epic quest. 
I didn't set out to say I want to make a story about the apocalypse. It was I want to tell a story about an epic quest, and then that becomes the question that follows after that is like, okay, then what's the kingdom? And and you didn't want to. Do, I didn't want to do some Stonehenge Lord of the Rings thing, and I didn't want to do a sci-fi thing. And I I love Amer I'm from the Midwest, and I love highways and truck stops and Americana, and I was really interested in telling like a, one of those grand adventure stories in that sort of very uniquely. Uh, uh, a middle American setting. I mean, there's. I, I seem to be obsessed with the Midwest. This story is basically one long walk from Chicago to Philadelphia, and and so and so for me, you know, there's something that I'm just obsessed with that part of the country because it's where. I'm, I gotta wrap this up. Um, I'll ask. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say one question. Probably because of the Midwest, we'll tell uh, or because of the aspect. Getting a lot of comparisons to Jericho. Have you? How do you feel about the fact to be compared to that show? Um, I. You know, I, from what I understand, Jericho was an amazing show, I, and people loved it. I, I, I actually didn't. I have to admit that I didn't watch it, and so now that I'm doing this show, I'm very now very specifically not watching it um, because I don't want to inadvertently take anything from the show. Or, or so it's better that I don't actually know what's going. I'm very willfully. Um, trying to not think about Jericho, but you know, I hope that um, you know. I heard that was a great show with amazing characters, but I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that just sort of that that you know people really react to that journey. I'm hoping that people will connect to it the way they again connect it. You know, I hope they connect to the journey in our show, and the way they connect it to Lord of the Rings and Star Wars and Wizard of Oz, and, and um, because really that's the the intent here.